Tonight, imagine a traffic signal that talks to your car. GDOT debuting new technology that can make your drive just a little bit stressful, and less stressful, I should say. CBS 46's Barmel Lyons live tonight in Atlanta with all the details. Good evening, Barmel. Good evening, Sean and Rick. I want you guys to just check out behind me. I know we see some cars outside, but we can all relate as drivers having that pressure when approaching a green light, not knowing if you're going to make it. Well, guess what? There's new technology that will tell you just that. The future of transportation is here. It's all about giving drivers good information so they can make smart decisions, smart, safe decisions. Traffic lights that talk to you while driving could soon be the new reality, telling you when to stop and when to go. If they're about to run that light, it might warn them that, hey, they better stop. John Hibbard, director of operations for the Georgia Department of Transportation, says the technology was years in the making. We are finally to the point, though, where we can put it out there on the street in a lot of locations. In Metro Atlanta, 400 intersections already have the technology added. Local Roger Smith says it's a step in the right direction. I'm, I'm all for it. I mean, I'm driving in Atlanta traffic frequently. I would appreciate any help I could get. But not everyone agrees. I don't think they should have sensors like that because people will try to speed up and make the light. And then somebody on the other side is going to be trying to do the same thing. It always ends up in an accident. We should just slow down. Another concern is privacy. There is nothing that says that that is my car that sent that information. It's designed that way on purpose. As long as you're doing what you're supposed to be doing, then, then the privacy shouldn't be that big of a deal. My hope is that motorists will get out of this information that enables them to be a safer and more aware driver. See that silver box right there? Well, it communicates with the technology right on top of there that then communicates with your car connected to your vehicle to indicate the minimum speed to drive to make the green light. Now, according to Hibbard, there are going to be 5 million cars with this technology in it. In Atlanta, I'm Barmo Lyons, CBS 46 News. Pretty creative.